I agree with that one. On one. I actually agree with his point. What's up, Let's Philadelphia go. sports fans, especially our Sixers fans, all in the tri state, all around the world, for real, for real. We in the building. This is Uncensored Philly Sports Podcast mm-hmm. with a little bit of censorship mixed in it. <laughs> What's yeah. up? What's up? What's up? We coming off a pretty disappointing Sixers loss to the Knicks. A game that had it was a lot of storylines in this game. We're gonna we're gonna try to get into most of them as we go about. Obviously, the hugest one with Joel going down in the, late in the second quarter, and then coming back Willis restyle. But you could tell he wasn't the same. But um, then you had uh, Josh Hart uh, impersonating Steph Curry. Him and McBride. All of a sudden, it was like Steph and Clay. They they couldn't miss. These dudes was shooting the lights out. <coughs> You talking about Hart, who shot thirty one percent from three point this year, but all of a sudden he he can't he he look like him and McBride looking like the Splash Brothers. So it was a lot that happened. Sixers lost. I mean, they showed a lot of grit, a lot of toughness. Maxi played well. B was playing exceptional until he got hurt, and he still, you know, contributed in a, in a large way, drawing attention, a couple of nice passes, and all that. However, we came up short. It's only one game. Best of seven. What's your thoughts? I'm right. pissed. I keep going. I, I, no, 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 no. I, the, the refereeing was trash. I, and, and listen, I'm not one of them people that I, I give New York props. Yeah, to, like, like Ephraim said, are, certain dudes. Ones. No, I'm not. I'm not one of them ones. I usually don't get. Uh, I, I don't. Anybody out here knows knows me. Mark knows all the time because Mark uh, Greenwood, all one of them people that always talk about about uh, refereeing and stuff like that. I don't get caught up into that. But th- this tonight, this game, it was trash. They was giving them every call they could in the first half. Every every touchy call, everything was going their way. It was going the next way in the first half. And um, like I said, but, I, but that being said, the Sixers, like, oh, you was on the road the first game. Um, I'm not mad. We missed open shots too. I, I mean, we definitely missed open shots and everything. And their guys played exceptionally well shooting. Like you said, Josh Hart don't need to shoot that. But at some point in time, they got to start giving Maxi the respect. They give Jalen Brunson the respect and giving him these calls. Give Maxi the respect he deserves on those plays. That the, the referee ain't killed me on this game. I couldn't even enjoy the game like that. The ref, the refs killed me this game with with the way they was calling. But if he can't shoot eight threes either, that like eight threes is way too many threes for him to be shooting this. Game. I think a lot of them came once he got hurt, though. I mean, he took about it, it four did. or five once he got hurt. It so did. I think he started jacking up more than normal because he couldn't drive as much. But it I. <clears throat> but that that's my I, I, the reps it, it took away from I it took away from the game for me like like it, it's it's almost like they had an agenda to sit out to make sure the Knicks don't lose this game and it it, it, it irritated me. I think we got our calls late, but yeah, I don't I don't quite agree with that. But uh, I'm glad everybody could join this SS relay. What's up, man? I I, I agree with um they just hit shots. Somebody else said something too, Carlton. Call hustle. Um, main money bench bench suck. But um I didn't like at the last three minutes of the game why they was trying to force him beat the ball. And the, you know this man just came off an injury. Um I, I, I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that they did that. They kept just forcing him one on one against um I can't think of his name. He actually played well on a beat. After MB got hurt, MB was giving him that work early. Exactly. But after MB got hurt, he actually played well on MB. But I don't like they were forced that like, was like forcing MB in the post. For one, that's really not an MB game. We all watch MB. MB don't pound you down in the middle, pound you down, turn around and shoot the ball. That, that, you look like MB shoots that jumper. He shoots oh. that mid- He faces up. <laughs> Pause. He faces up and he shoots that jumper. He gets by you all that back and because you notice when he after he backed down, he tried to make shots. He was missing like all that backing down, running into you. That's not a big game. Man. That's not a big game. So I don't know why they were forcing that at the end of the game. That kind of irritated me. Instead of getting the ball moving, getting the ball in the maxi hand, see what he could do. I kind of I, I think that's a big game, but not hurt him. Big. Huh? I think he. I think that is part of his game, just not. I what agree. He's I agree with I you. Agree. He was hurt, so I don't think you should do that. But if he's not hurt, like he was doing at the beginning, he was dominating. He got a couple N ones. Yeah. He had that when he was had all nine of our first points. He had two threes, and then he had that N one jump back and ball down underneath the rim, and he had eighteen. But go ahead, Tim. Before I go ahead, go ahead. First of all, he's hurt, Car. 
He's hurt. He just he just no, I do agree with you. I do agree with you. Like Ephraim said, hurt okay. and be he's right, but MB's game is backing those dudes down and doing that. And be and be face up, get past you, hit that little man. Yeah, you, if you just keep looking at it, staying around, I, I'm gonna stay saying something. You gonna speak or no? Okay, okay. Like, I'm just want to keep jumping the hill. He said, comment, he got to respond right away instead of being patient. But like I said, as far as I'm concerned, the game was good. I'm looking at and be was phenomenal that first quarter, he was unstoppable. I mean, the way he – because he struggled the last game, so I was expecting <laughs> maybe a 23-point game from him. <laughs> Way stupid. But hey, Tim, tell me what you think about Embiid with the with the uh, dunk off I'm, the back. I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. He yeah, was tough. fantastic. He scored our first nine points. That crowd in the guard was quiet. They was quiet. Then Joel – then they, 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 they made their runs. Both teams made their little runs. It was nice and smooth. Everybody played. Maxi got going. He played well. Um, I even thought that um, Tobias hit an early basket, which was his only basket until the fourth quarter. But that first, <laughs> that first three kind of was um, it was it was needed. It was much needed when he when he did make it. But I don't care what y'all say. That ooh, that that um backboard dunk that me did was absolutely dumb. No, it was wasn't. ridiculous. No, you wasn't. know you are injured. They 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 put they put out a they put out a um a stat saying he only dunked 19 times the entire year. So you chose a reconstructed um knee to decide that at this particular time I'm going to throw the ball off the. Basket. He's done that before. You do know he's done that before, though, right? Yes, he's done okay. it before, but not coming off the surgery, not being healthy, knowing that it's game one of a of a seven game series. It was not smart. It was a great play. We all got hyped. It wasn't smart, y'all. And y'all wasn't there. They were smart. Then y'all don't know basketball. Y'all don't. Y'all don't respect your team. How, how how we don't know that basketball? Because it, it was a brilliant play. It, it got it a basket. Not- I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. And we're gonna get back to that point, Tim. Because I, I'm not fully against you. I did like the play, but I'm not fully against you with what you're saying. But I did want to give. I don't think we addressed Bernard McCoy's super chat that he. Oh, yeah, out. we gotta get Bernard. Mm-hmm. Um, it said let Brunson go one on one and score forty and guard everyone else, and we will win the series. Why are we? I agree. Guy that is eight for twenty six. That's not. I a agree. Bad I think I actually think. Uh, Maxi did a very good job one on one with with um, Brunson. He was off some of the shots. He had good looks and missed, but Maxi was actually right there with him. Didn't wasn't getting blown by. Was really I mean, Matt Brunson was trying to use his weight and bang him down in the paint a little bit, and Maxi was still right there. He he wasn't overly phased by what Brunson was trying to do. I thought Maxi played great defense. I, I do ultimately think Carlton. A couple of people said in the in the chat, Carlton Hudson and a couple of the cats. I think the main storyline was we got crushed on the offensive glass. I, that's, what the that, Knicks, that's what the Knicks do, though. You do that. But, that is what but they do. one thing we and, and I this is a They're number one in the league. But this is a uh-huh. this is a a, a f- pretty much a direct result. That's the word I'm looking for. The phrase I'm looking for of Joel B getting hurt. If Joel B don't get hurt, we win this game. To me, I think we win the game by six points. When once Joel and B went down. For one, they started they started started dominating the glass even more, and then Joel Embiid had no spring to go after those rebounds. There was a couple they got that Robinson got. Joel Embiid was standing there; he never even jumped. So that injury really kind of you know really hurt us on the offensive. Even though they are a good offensive rebounding team, it turned into a landslide once Joel Embiid got hurt. It, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close, and that and that killed us because a lot of them threes they got, not all of them. But a lot of them threes they got was off the result of offensive rebounds. They kicked it back out, swung it to this player. So we scrambling, somebody knock a three down. So that was kind of irritating. But them offensive boards was. And it's quiet. I know y'all think Paul Reed played well. Paul, we played terrible today. He rapped, he talked. Huh? What you mean, huh? Paul Reed was a yeah. minus twenty-one. All right, you looking at that? Paul Reed didn't play terrible. He the lineup, the, the, the lineup. Listen, you talking about the minus twenty one? The lineup that he was in there with was he trash. played terrible. Buddy Hill played. He I'm play tired. Terrible. Why is Buddy Hill out on the basketball court? No, Why I don't think he terrible. He wasted hey. 11, 12 minutes out there, man. Give he is, and that's what. And Buddy Hill he came in with no Paul more. Reed. That's why it looks like Paul Reed had a bad game because he's playing out there with bad. With, again, the lineup wasn't too hot. But I do agree. It should be Paul. Paul. I did not like Tobias. 
Harris can't play no more. He can't play no more. I don't he know let us in rebounds. <laughs> he did. Ran. He let us in rebounds. So if nothing else, he, didn't he have was, ten rebounds. He had nine. He he let us yeah, in rebounds. So stop going around. He had ten. He didn't have he ten let, rebounds. I didn't say ten. I said he let us in rebounds. But that being said. If Paul, if, if Tobias Harris is not going to make them shots, and he wasn't the only one, we missed a lot of open shots. So I'm not saying that the refs are the reason we lost, but I'm saying the refs put us in a hole with a lot of the way that they just called us. Rebounds the reason we lost. And, uh, and them fouls. And them both fouls. I mean, them nah. fouls. Them was trash. It was trash. I mean, and them was on second chance points. I don't ever I'm get like this the about ball. the calls. The, bro, if you don't see the refs was holding us, you, you smoking. They was holding us that first half. When you realize Scott I mean, Foster, was, every time Scott Foster do our game, that's what happens. Yeah, it's he. It's a Philly thing. He don't like Philly for some reason. That's very evident. I do. I mean, I do, the refs did they get us on some calls early, but I don't think that was as big as impact as the offensive rebound and the dudes knocking down threes. Like them, they, bro. They had how many threes did they hit? They what was that? They hit. Let me see. Yeah, Josh Hart, like like that point you said, Josh Hart, a career 30 30% free uh three point shooter. He was just knocking down everything. it was 16 for 35. It was 45 percent from threes. Like that's hard to overcome when you got everybody knocking down at a pretty high clip. The bull McBride was five for seven. He was 71 percent. I think he ain't missing till he was like four for four. It was stuff like that. They didn't kill this, man. He's do and McBride is solid. He shoots 41% of the year. He only shoots like three threes a game normally. He shoots like 41%, which is very good. But this is 71%, five for seven. Like it, 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 this game, I, I'm not overly irritated because though this game reminds me of it reminds me of game one. And I and I know y'all gonna get on me for this, but game one, Golden State versus the South. I knew it was Golden State. Remember? <laughs> Remember, remember, remember when the Celtics went all for the three? And me and Ethan told y'all, we said it took a Herculean effort, three-pointer, to beat Golden State. And I said, I'm telling y'all, Golden State going to win this series. I'm more confident than ever before because they barely won shooting all these threes, hitting nonstop. And sure enough, Golden State came back and won. Now, the only problem I have with this series is Joel Embiid. That's the only concern I have is how – is he going to play again? Is he is he going to get hurt again? Like, how many minutes is he legitimately going to give us, and how effective he's going to be on the court? If he was hundred percent, and they still and they won this game shooting oh, like that, I, I would have no I would have no problem. Mm -hmm. I would have no problem about this series. But Joel being a liability right now, that's the only thing that got me extremely concerned. Maxi played well too. Maxi we played well. Another thing, I know why we did, but it's kind of irritating. But we stayed in that zone a little bit too long. But it's almost they, they went into that zone because the um compass they put Joel because it's like it's gonna be hard for him to guard his man one on one. So it was like it wasn't hard for Joel to guard his man. It, it would have been they, they, they kind no, of was wasn't. protecting him. They, the, they, zone, they, the zone was to help these other so that Joel could stay in the paint and help these guys when these guys get past him. That's what the zone is for. So Joel can stay in the paint. Well, the, they stayed the in it way too long. We stayed in the way too I long. I agree. I agree. I can't agree with that. I agree. I could. I can agree with that. I mean, some of the threes they hit, they, they hit a lot of wide open, a lot of wide open ones. But some of the threes was that one that the last one hard hit. I think somebody was Ubre or Maxi was all over the top of him. It, it almost could have been a four point play, and he still knocked it down. Like at a certain point, we let him get a rhythm, and and once you know, once you get hot, the basketball, the rim is just wide open now. Now it's shooting fish in the barrel. And that's what was happening. Like they just couldn't miss at one point. I, I don't care what defense we threw at them. After we let them get hot, they probably wouldn't have missed anyway. But and I do why, recall we let them get cooking from the from the rip. I do. Remember. And that's why I agree with y'all with all that stuff. But my thing is that's why I'm so pissed about the refs in the first half. It, it was egregious. I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care what any of y'all got to say. The refs, the way the refs was calling that game early on was not even. It, it was, was not. Even. No, it was this. Nobody, was, nobody, very suspect. I'm not disagreeing with that at all. I, I just think I'm not I'm not saying that didn't play a factor. I'm saying I think the biggest factor was the offensive rebounds and them. But what I'm out. saying is, and but we already know that they're high on offensive rebounds. Well, what I'm saying is when you put in that 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 in there that the reps was not giving us the same call, it's no way Maxi should have only been Maxi was getting beat up and, and Maxi was hooping after he got over the yeah. tennis beginning. No, Maxi no, was hooping. He was watch the game. He was. The offensive rebounds led to the foul calls. 
them getting the old boards was leading to them going to the line. Like, it, it, nah, it was, not all the time. Uh, a lot of times it did. It, it, fast, it was, some it of them fast break throws were suspect too. I, start, I'm sorry, they caught a lot of suspect the old boards. I think it started with the old boards, right. man. I ain't going. But you know what? I think somebody said Maxie started off timid. I think he'll start off hot next game. I think the way the Sixers play, if they start with Embiid, I think they need to start starting with Maxie a little bit. Get him going. Then B going to get his. And B going. When you watch other superstars, right? Like the LeBrons and do they let everybody else get cooking. You want your team, you want others already getting warmed up. Y'all told me Maxie was a superstar. That B was one B. So so Maxie let B get off early then, right? That's the way Nick Nurse called it. I mean, that's what y'all told me. It's the way Nick Nurse called it. Listen, if you notice, even even in that um playing game, you notice they was going to be early. Listen, I think you get Maxi going early, let him get into his rhythm, then you can follow through with B. In my I, opinion, I'm not mad at that though. At this I point, with B in the position, you can't be mad at the, how we started the game when Joel was hot. Joel but I kind of agree. Very start of this game. But I'm, when I'm looking at everything. The the free throws was not that far off. We they shot 28. We shot 22. Um, as far as three point shooting, they hit four more three pointers than we did. The biggest thing in this game was the offensive, was the rebounding. That, was that the, and the fact that we missed a lot of wide open threes. We missed a yes, lot man. of wide open threes. I mean, we both took 35. They shot 35. So we shot 30. We Hill. missed a lot of wide open. We was contesting theirs. We had some wide Tobias. Buddy uh, Hill, uh, Tobias, Buddy Batum, Hill, Batum. Batum. We missed wide Uber, open threes. Uber missed a couple wide open yeah, downs. We yeah. missed yeah. wide open threes. I didn't think the Uber hit a three. I didn't think Uber hit a three. Yeah, he did. He hit one. Oh, he's one for two. The other one, he hooked. I mean, I can't be too mad at that. <laughs> Tobias was one for four, and beat like Wayne said, two for eight. But a lot of them, I think, came after the injury. Maxie was three for nine. Kyle Lowry balled out. We got to give him his props too. He was four for seven. Nick Batum was one for four, and Buddy Hill was zero for one. Buddy Hill frustrating to me, bro. He had ten minutes. He he he. At this, this point, point think, you got to give you got to give Payne his minutes, bro. He he mm-hmm. not he not doing he not doing it. He not doing it, man. Like. I think we got caught up on them first couple of games he had when he snapped two out. He, oh, yeah, wow. two games and he was out of control. I mean, he was looking like Jordan and he couldn't be stopped and he ain't never looked the same, not even close. I got a theory on Buddy Hill, though. Go ahead. You know, your- remember when Buddy Hill was in Sacramento, he used to shoot like three, like 10 three pointers a game. He did. He's not getting that many shots. So I, he's a volume shooter. So if he's on a team that's a real good team, he's not going to get as much chance as when he was on Sacramento. They wasn't that good. He's a volume shooter. He has to have a bunch of shot attempts in order to get in the flow, and he's not going to get that here because you got Maxi B. I can to put him up in the pregame. Then, then you got your those are your shots right there. He uh, in game shots is different from pregame. But it don't matter, <laughs> man. You're a professional. It's different. Bro. Let me no, tell you something. I used to go to the Sixers games and watch like, and watch. Like I, used to, I used to go to the Sixers game and watch Iggy knock down Iggy and shoot around. He used to hit every three pointer and shoot around. Iggy Dollar was cl- like he thought he was Steph Curry and shoot around. But then you got in the game, it was a lot different. So it's a lot different when you got guys flying around at you and, and you got to worry about like making certain moves and stuff to get yourself open or, or certain stuff to shoot. Yeah, because even even, even, right. even when you're shooting, you're always thinking about possibly passing. So, like, right. you could pull up for a three and see somebody run across your face, you know what I'm saying, and right. then you pass to them real fast. So it's so many variables that you that, that could change the trajectory of your shot in the in the right game. So I, I do agree with Wayne. It, it, it could be something to that. I mean, rhythm is a is – a, is a, is a thing for a shooter. It's a real thing. But that's what he got. He got to adjust that. You want to yeah, team. You want to win a team, and you got you got players like Embiid and Maxi. You got to be able to. You got to come in with that mindset. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit that shot. Like you got to come in and produce. That's his job. That's why I think Cam Cameron Payne probably I think is is better suited for that position at this point. If Buddy ain't going to do what he got to do, you got to get somebody in who won't do it. And I think Cam Payne might be better. I do agree with comp- comp- comment and Pumans made earlier. When he said, um, he said at this point you got to run the offense through Maxi. Depend depending on Joel's condition, you he right. Like it's it's no, it's, it's no knock on Joel and nothing. I'm not even on that. You know who better right now? Because at this point it's a moot point because Joel beat <laughs> he hurt. So it's like you you kind of forced to run the offense through Maxi and almost pl- kind of play Joel a little bit like like a distraction. You know what I'm saying? Agree. 
it's, you know, so if you're going to be out there, if you're going to gut it out, bet that that's it helps us. But emotionally, it helps the team, him being out there. Matchup wise, it helps the team because he's always a threat. But I think you got to run it through Maxi at this point. And I do agree with the putting in Paul Reed. It, like, I, a Paul Reed, Tobias, uh, uh, take Tobias out and put in Paul Reed. Paul Reed and B, if, if nothing else, Paul Reed's going to give you activity on the rebounds and, and everything else. But wait, 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 first of all, let me say this before I continue. I still think the Sixers won this series because even in the second half, the Knicks was not shooting as well as they was in the first half, except for Josh Hart. But I, I do think that that style of play that they play is going to wear them down more than it wears us down. We just need our guys to hit open shots. All right, Sean. Money, just you know, one. Just, <laughs> just one. NYG. I see it. NYG. I see um, it. We, just, we appreciate you. We appreciate the love. We come back the game. Win too, though. You come the back. Game. Now, yeah. Yep. Come Buddy back Hill, that game too. Minutes because he can't play defense. If Buddy Wait, Hill, Buddy Hill, not getting minutes because he can't play defense. If he could play a little defense and move his feet, he'd be out on the court more. He, he's too That's much true. of a liability. That is true. Yeah. If you're in there for offense only, you got. If you in there for offense only, you got to do like Seth Curry did uh, when he was here in the land. He was getting lit up on defense, but he was lighting them up on offense. If, if you're gonna be a liability on defense, you gotta light them up on offense. Hey, hey, just, hey, just one New York. Go ahead. I was saying, what adjustments do Nick Nurse has to make for game two? I think he'll make adjustments. Um, I know. I'm saying, what adjustments do you have to make? I, honestly, right we got to make open shots. We missed too many open shots tonight. They're not going. Listen, they're not going to be on fire like that next game. They, but they will be. They will rebound the same way. We need help. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Do 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 you go? Do you put, that's um, you go big lineup? Paul Reed and Joel Embiid. I agree. That's yep. what I'm saying. You yep. go big lineup. You take Toby out of there, and you put uh, Paul Reed and Joel Embiid in that lineup. Put Paul Reed in, in, in Toby's spot. Keep Ubre in there. I Matt agree. Keith and Kyle and Kyle Lara and rock out with and, and, and bring Payne off the bench instead of Buddy Hill. I'm putting yeah. Joel Embiid and Bamba in the game. <laughs> I'm not even mad if you do that for a minute. Like Bamba can just, actually hit the three. And, and Mobamba, he's he's athletic. He can move around and, and he can step out to the three and, and defend it a little bit. I'm listen. I'm not even mad. We actually probably listen. And, and you gotta remember too, though. What's kind of irritating? Rebounds a lot about playing the angles and attacking because Hart is only somebody mentioned this in the chat too earlier. Hart only six four. It, it ain't like he's some super big six eight. You know, Jalen Rose type guard. And he uh, did he lead their team with rebounds? He had like twelve rebounds or something, like. Which is why you something. probably could, which you you probably could play the ball, <laughs> um, Ricky Council. He got I, hard. I see that Ampoo, I agree with that. He's six Chris Hacker. Oh, it's not. Rick, oh, and we said the same thing. Yeah, is it the same thing, Chris Hacker? Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. I love Brandon Ingram game. I I, I think he's I think he's uh KD light. I, I would take Brandon Ingram in the heartbeat. If you put him near in Tobias' spot, I'll take it in the heart. It is a science, Norm B. I agree, and that's that's what I'm saying. It's a science to that Dennis Rodman, one of the greatest rebounds of all time. He was six seven, six eight, somewhere in Vicinity. It's a science yeah. to rebound it. You gotta want it, and you gotta know the angles to take to get the rebound. But, and right now, Knicks know the angles. See, this is what I mean about politics, though, because did y'all notice at some point in the game they was trying to run plays to get Toby going? I did. Poor Toby. I did. Yep. Is that politics? It's, it's, it's being dumb. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's politics, but I, I think it's if you look at it, uh, if you look at the history, Tobias has actually played well against the Knicks. And it's when when Josh Hart and he's been backing down. Tobias has played well against the Knicks. Go look at the records. Go look at the numbers. First of all, so, this is another this is a new Knicks no, team. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but when they had Josh Hart on, that's like he even had him on certain he just came up short on the shots. He missed the shots. It was there. So Jesse that being said, he, he wasn't the only one missing the open shots, though. That's what I'm saying. But I'm I I'm not opposed to taking Tobias out and yes, putting in are. Reed or a no, I just said I'm fine with taking him out and putting in Reed or Bamba or one of them other guys to play big ball against them. I love the defense Uber played tonight too. By the way, stretching yeah, the floor ball all the way out. Uber Uber was actually playing some great defense. I it, it, I think it, it's, it took away from his offense a little bit. His offense suffered because he was so focused on defense, which I'm not overly mad about. Especially the way Maxi was playing, the Lowry was hitting, 
and Joel early anyway. Like I said, if Joel didn't get hurt, I honestly think we'd have won this game. And I'm not, I'm not saying it would have been a landslide or nothing, but if Joel didn't get hurt, I think we'd have won this game by about somewhere between five to eight points. I think we'd have won by. Um, just one New York said McBride and Laurie kind of they kind of all said each other night, which I agree. Like I said, McBride could miss, bro. This boy was like playing stuff, him at heart. <laughs> that you're right, Carl. You're right. I'll take that back about two weeks against the Knicks. <laughs> I think just one might be John Adams. I think so. He might be under. I know he's a Knicks fan, but I don't see his name up here. Somebody, and he, he might be changed his name, playing fraud. But yeah, just one. Just come on back. I, y'all got to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. The last four games, Tobias Harris. I just game. said. Carlton was right point. about. I just said he was right against. I let him get off. Let him get this off his chest. No, no, no. If he looked at the chat, did he see that Carlton Hudson? Carlton Hudson just said that, and I said you're right. He has uh, he has struggled against the Knicks. Well, guess what? I got a chance to see for myself. The only twelve. Well, well, Tim was also hating on the beat this game, so let's go, let's go to that then. Since you want to talk, talk so, your talk, Tim. Talk your talk. The only thing I see about 26 and 38 and 27, those are the minutes he played. It wasn't the points. <laughs> That's yeah, bad. I, I, listen, at, at this point, bench him and put in Paul Reed. I'll start Paul Reed or Mo Bamba. I would. You got to nah. bench you. I agree. I'll start Batum. I'll start Batum. What did Batum do today? I don't Ooh. care. He got Batum a bench. I got, I, I, I I got but I'm saying on. we need. Hold on. Do you trust Toby? You trust Batum? I, I'm not saying I didn't say to uh, you talking about Batum as a, but that's not the Toby or Batum. But that's not the argument. We're talking about Wait, replacing Toby. We're talking about re, we're talking about replace. I said replace Toby with with uh, Paul Reed or with Mobamba. So it's not about Toby versus Batum. It's Mobamba or or Paul Reed versus Batum. And I'm saying since we need rebounds, I'm putting Paul Reed in there with Embiid to, to get in there and get rebounds. Yeah, I think it's a lineup. You it would it would go well. Not it would do yourself some some justice at least trying it. I think it's something you at least got to experiment with because we can't we cannot we cannot get crushed on offensive glass the way we did again. And you just you you dying to lose a game like that. And, and the, my only thing is, I know I'm very confident McBride or Hart ain't going to hit like that again. However, the thing that may offset them a little bit. Is the fact that Brunson probably won't shoot as bad as he shot? No, nah, he, he doesn't play. He doesn't shoot well against the Sixers. I'm not. I don't think he's going to shoot eight for twenty six for thirty percent. I don't think he's mm -hmm. going to shoot that bad. He was that I mean, bad last time when he um last game when he played the Knicks. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe he will. I it's hope he don't. But kind of that talk, that but, talk, Ubre being on top, um, being. I can agree with that, but this is a seven game series when you can uh, you can easily adjust to how the player is playing you you're going to work that out in practice you're going to try they're going to try to run screens off of Ubre to get him open because even a couple shots he had against max he had about five or six shots against maxi where he had the look and he just missed i don't think he's going to miss that much next game to be honest no, maxi got, he had a couple blocks on him too no maxi played well listen he did maxi played exceptionally well i'm, I'm not hating i said from the outset maxi defense was great he was trying to back him down maxi right there but a couple times he did have a look a good look and he just missed the shot I don't see him. Max, Max had like two blocks today, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. I, I listen. I hope he do shoot this bad. I'm just saying, I, he's a good enough player where he can adjust, and he's not going to play this bad again. That's thirty percent, eight for twenty six. That's low, low. I don't, I don't see him playing shooting that bad again. Yeah, I'm hoping B, hoping B plays next game. That's the thing. That's my major concern. This whole, this whole series. <laughs> and everything we say about, and everything we say. Everything we say talking about the six of team is not a coincidence that when the came out, we gave a lead up. Uh, we gave a lead up when the B was there. Mm -hmm. games nah. No, when B came out, that's when we started losing the lead the most. Yes, we had a big lead when B oh, came out. We, they started we, running. Had, we had a big lead, and when the B came out, they made a run and came back in this game. I can agree. I can kind of agree with Wayne with that. I mean, we, listen, he's a huge focal point. You got to keep all attention on B. It allows everybody to flourish a little bit more. B was a plus and B was a plus fourteen. That that speaks for values. Listen, B was in the game. Things happen. I I very I, I was very clear about that. Dude, are you nervous about anybody else on the Knicks squad besides Brunson though? 
they maybe can get off next game. Like, um, like I thought D- DiVincenzo was kind of quiet tonight. He only had they all points. did get off. Hart, M- M- McBride, <laughs> DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. Listen, I watched DiVincenzo's a good player. I'm not hating him. I actually still wish Golden State would have kept him over Pajenski, the rookie ball. But in what you see, what you get, he may he may go from 8 to 12, maybe 14, might maybe give you six more points. I don't see him having no monster 20-point game in this series unless they leave him open and he just shoot all threes. Uh, and Anobi, what's he average for the year? What's, what's his average? He scored 11 Tim, tonight. Tim Love, Tim Love and Anobi. Yeah, Anobi yeah, averaged 14 Tim for the year. OG. I mean. OG 20, was a minus five, Tim. Just, just for the record, he was a minus five. He had a surprise 20-point game, maybe. He but, a three in the game. I mean, Wayne try to downplay these balls. He hit that. The one three hit was huge. Yeah. It was, but I mean, but Tim acted so, like. One three? So, so oh, hold, 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 real quick. So if Tobias hits one three pointer that comes, you don't say that was a huge three. You say Tobias still trash, right? You think, you think Tobias better than him? No, nah, I'm you, not saying that. Uh, what, I, what, what I'm saying is OG did nothing this game. He hit one three, and, and you want to hype up what he did on one three pointer? He played good defense. He had a yeah, level point. He ain't played he shot, great. He, we OG. missed shots. We missed shots. He shot 50%. He's, he's, he's one of the better defenders in the league. And uh, uh, OG is cap. And Pumas, thanks for the super chat. He said he missed a lot of the defensive boards due to a lack of athleticism. KJ, that's true. And council solved that problem. It they does. The basket. I mean, it's some it's some truth in that, and Pumas. I could, I could rock with you with that. I could rock with some Ricky Council and some KJ. KJ <laughs> just can't shoot that good. But we might need that. We might need that. I, I'd rather go with I'd rather go with Ricky Council than uh than um KJ. Yeah. Uh, you could you could interchange, they could be interchangeable. You only got the I don't I don't I don't see KJ I don't see KJ doing great yeah. against them. KJ is uh-huh. athletic and gets dunks and stuff like that. I don't he's not gonna get that against the Knicks. The Knicks can't the Knicks camp in the paint. We just gotta hit them open threes when we get them open threes. Tobias right. or whoever else is in there, Tobias, Hield, Batum, we gotta hit them open threes. We wasn't the thing is, threes, you may right. not hit those open threes, but you can rebound. Everybody can rebound if you have that desire. If you know, how, if you got not if you play five out, not if everybody's out on the perimeter, not if you have non athletic players out there. But no, if athletic. everybody's on the perimeter, it, you gotta hit them shots. If you don't hit them shots, you're not getting them rebounds. The rebounds, so you well, why is it that- from your burner? Say it again. You stop commenting from your burner account. Oh, you and that's and that's yeah. and that's said and B wasn't really injured, man. Just tired and went in the long. Yeah. 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 I think I, he was really you know, injured. I, I don't think he was. You know what it is? Anybody that's playing, you don't think he was injured? He's scared of stuff. He's scared. Any, anybody that's played sports and has been injured before, when you come back out there, you're still. It's a psychological thing. When you sit up there and you know you injured, if you know you injured that knee, when you tweak it a little bit. You panic and like, oh crap! Did I just did I just mess this up again? And to me, that's what it looked like it was with be And he did, he did tweak it and hurt it a little bit, but it wasn't as severe. But in your mind, when you hurt, if you play, if you've injured something and you continue to play after that, as soon even if it's healed, like the doctors tell you, you're completely healed. You can play on it. It's not you're not going to re damage it. it. You're not like it's you know what I'm saying like on that type time in your mind though when you hurt that same thing, you you think like, oh my god, I just did it again. So I, it's, I it's a they I said he had this. yeah, so he had to go back in the bathroom, but he was. I can, tell y'all this. <laughs> I can see, I can see that way. I can see that. If we lose in this first round, I'm trading Joel and B. No, I'm not. The only thing that make me feel good is if you trade Joel and B. You trade Joel and B to Golden State for Clay Thompson and let Curry <laughs> and, and Draymond and B do their thing. That's the only thing that bring me any type of peace if we get rid of B. He got to go to Golden State. Go and stay to Joel and beat him. Telling you right now. Oh, you want, now you want Joel to go go and stay. Yeah, I want Joel to go and stay. <laughs> I think, I think you my know, two I, favorite I, players. I mentioned Toby at work because we actually had a nice lead and Toby was in the game. He hit a three early on. He just, man, he, he's not built for this league anymore. Toby, Toby? No, once yeah. you get once you get with against the uh athletic yeah. players. And the, the Kobe can't do nothing with these dudes. He's not built for this league no more. If they yeah. spot him shooting, he, he can't play no more. Chris, we, we, won game. we won that Miami game where we benched Toby. 
So it's like you got lessons, you know what it's like. I, I, think, I mean, he did, he, he did bet Shobi in the fourth quarter at one point, but then he brought That's him back in because you wasn't getting no kind of rebound. Chris Hatcher said, uh, I've had some we could we could click we could sign and trade they could sign and trade clay. Uh can I live? Um Chris Hatcher said I've had the same injury it gets pinched sometimes while you're active and it hurts. Like mm -hmm. so, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can see that. I, I can see that. I mean, that's that's some insightful information. It'll probably hurt enough to where he thought he damaged it again. Yeah, you know I mean, like kind of like Wayne was saying a little bit. It's in your mind, any little tweak, you're like, Oh my goodness, tag, that's it. So that, but, that could but, be it. That could but be. let's be let's be let's be for real though. <laughs> I, it's just an echo somewhere. A, a, a cat when Wayne came back, he probably changed the set. Yeah, I ain't changed nothing. Why I don't, are I don't you, hear so if you get knocked out the first round, you really gotta think hard about bringing an often injured and be back to get hurt again another year. I mean, so you, you wait till I come back in here to start talking about that B really, trade and B talking. Really again. have to think hard about it. So I what did we do when the B was out this game? You told me Messi was a do. Messi when the B was out the game. Maxi should have took off, but instead, and I'm not hating on Maxi. I'm not hating on Maxi. Maxi is you Maxi lead the team in scoring. Maxi is the future for this franchise. Maxi was playing tenant from the beginning. He should have been attacking. Maxi no, should have been attacking. You, you, you know what the game out. plan was? What was the game plan? I'm asking you. Well, all I know is the game plan was we was winning early on when we was feeding the B early on. Yes. But I do well, know that when the B came out the game, you. we struggled. You keep so why you mad at Maxi though? I'm not mad at Maxi. I'm just I, I, that. That's just that. That's why I say I'm not mad. I, I like Maxi. I love Maxi. I don't. I, they better give Maxi the max. That being said, you keep talking about trading and B like like and B's not a top five player in this league. Who are you replacing him with? Who are you when trading him for? When he plays, he played tonight. Who are you trading him for? <laughs> Playing for Clay Thompson and um and letting join Steph Curry. And, uh, we gonna trade for Clay and, and, and Draymond. Yeah, let's do that. To make and it that. No, trade for Clay and, and Clay, Wiggins. Clay Wiggins and Kaminga. This is why I keep telling y'all. This is why I keep telling y'all. Maury messed that up. We could have had two Tyrese's back there, and they would have held it down for us. But yeah, that's either here nor there. But I we know. gonna see. If, we gonna see if Tyrese Halliburton won in the playoff series. I, I do not know. Ain't nobody giving no criticism to Nick Nurse and his coaching. And I don't think he did a great he job. Did. He said what do you think he did? What do you think he did wrong? Said, and we said we should have. Um, he should have put a campaign in. And he should have got that got out, got out that zone earlier. Ain't that what yeah, we said? Like, that's what I'm talking about. He stayed in the zone too late, too long. I think he played um, Embiid that first quarter too long. That's like right, right. Wait, 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 did you, he you played Embiid to too long the first quarter. You think Nick Nurse could have blocked them? Um, he could have blocked Josh Hart shots. You think he should do? He should get him reach around so, there. So Nick Nurse <laughs> deserves no criticism. Nick Nurse should have blocked them threes. Josh Nick Hart was going up. Deserves no Nick Nurse did that. No, I think I think he do deserve criticism. I think he deserves criticism for not playing campaign. He should have got Buddy out there, let campaign do his thing. I agree. He should have got out that zone and went to man to see how that worked out for you. I agree. Maybe even took Toby out and put in another rebound to Paul Reek. Once we once he was once he saw he was getting crushed so bad on offensive glass, I'd have just put big bodies in there and said, you know what? He didn't do it. Is that I, I agree. That's why I do agree with where he should have put in a double big, like put in Paul Reed and Embiid and say, okay, we want to battle on these boards too. They go at it. The Lakers and the Denver going at it. I hope I hope Lakers Brian beat. Beat. I hope Brian beat you. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Brian too. I know it's a lot of Brian haters out there, and a, and a lot of Brian fans. I'm rooting for I'm rooting for Brian to beat uh to beat to beat Denver. And I, I tell you what, if they win this game one, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a real wake up call for Denver. They and that being said, one. and that being said, this is only game one with the Sixers, and I I still I don't care what none of y'all in here say. I feel like the the refereeing was horrible and atrocious and very favorable to New York early on in the game. And, well, and that being it. said. That mean, and we missed threes, and some of them guys. It, I, I think we win a series. I, I still think we win a series. I think it's if, all if he well. can be healthy enough to play. Yeah, play. if Joel can mentally be Joel, because the uh, the way he came out, he came out man on fire in the first half, first quarter. He was looking like he wanted to dominate and crush anything in his path. He looked like Shaq yep. in in O two. He was on a war path, and I love every minute of it. He did. If he can give you that consistently through this series, it's a wrap. I'm not even. I'm not even concerned. 
But, but it's, it's the ball to the big man. And then try to dunk the ball. I mean, I want to see that too. But now he know he's not hurt. So now he so, knows it's a stinger. So he can do it so, again. So, so, so you don't think that a play like that injects energy into the team? Because we were because we were starting to falter before he did that. We uh, they all, were starting. They was on a run, and he did. There that. is a level of emotional intelligence that you got to have as a basketball player. Tim, you, you keep talking about intelligence. You, you can get hurt not, at any. You can get hurt is, at any point in time. Is, him him throwing, him throwing the ball off the backboard and dunking is no different from him driving and dunking and him catching the ball and dunking. Ball. You don't gotta be a. Yeah, tight it's, a it's a little more. It's a lot of weight coming down on your knee. Any but it was his own team. weight. It's the same thing if he was shot or did any if he would have just did a drop step and dunk. Would have been any different? Of, no, it's different. It's different when you jumping How? like that and coming down. That's so that's him dunking and coming down. So then he shouldn't dunk at all. Then any any no probably not. Top right, he only dunked nineteen times the whole year. Now, remember the ball? Who who told AI to stop dunking to save his knees? Is that cheeks? Yeah, more cheeks. Duncan's bad on your knees. It's not football. Okay. Exactly, and Puma, he make it like he like to, like 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 B came out and did some old he fancy exotic stuff. It. it was B. a regular dunk off B. the backboard and a dunk. That's B. the way he got hurt. That B. same B. injury, that same injury could happen. That same tweak can happen if he jump up for a rebound and come down. If he jump up for a block and come down, that same thing happened. It wasn't like he went through a whole bunch of traffic and a whole bunch of people. He just dropped down and came down on his leg wrong. Yeah, Three hundred pounds coming down on that on that on that uh, surgery, surgically. So y'all so y'all just want him shooting threes. Y'all just want him shooting threes from here on out. Y'all just want him shooting threes here on out. Don't act like he was in a dunk contest. Like he was yeah, exactly. Like he was like between the legs. He acted like he was in a dunk contest. He did. Did you want to be unreasonable half shot, half court shots only? What you say? That's that's all I want. Half half court shots only. Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna come here and tell me how soft he is, and then you're gonna tell me how soft he is because he's not attacking the basket. And and B did he knew what to do with doing it was a it was a great play to make. He just when he it was a great play. It was was it not a good play? Yeah, it was for a healthy person. Yes, was it not a good play? It was a good play. It was a good play. But no, McCoy, I agree. I I would like to. That's man, you're saying it's no, you're saying it's no point, but you don't think that that sparks the team up. If you that play when he when B did that, the Knicks got quiet. The Knicks crowd got quiet because certain plays like that takes all the energy out of the home court, uh, about uh, out of the home team. It, it takes the energy out of the crowd. It just so happened that, that when that he play, kicked it down, he hurt himself. Play, and all somebody got to do is come up and do another nice dunk, and the energy's right back there. Meanwhile, you got to injure and B. And, and guess what? And it also could be a B. It also could be a B going at the jump and block a foul, block a, a shot, and somebody running to his knee. Or also could be and B dribbling the ball and somebody go to cut him off and cut his knee. It could be anything. It could, anything could tweak that. That was just him coming down. You know all the, I'm not mad you know at that place. You could be foul. driving your car and get a car accident, but is it is it safe to play on train tracks? No. Okay. It's like okay. So what? And Maxi could get hurt every time he go to the basket, but you don't get mad that Maxi going to the basket, do you? What I want to see Nick Nurse, Nick Nurse fix try try to uh, combat is them old boards. I want to see what he does to combat all the offensive boards that they got. I agree. That's what I want to see. That's the main problem right there. So, I agree. That's so, why I agree. Taking Toby out and putting that's in, the adjustment putting that in. we know we gotta make. Yeah, then Paul Reed for Toby. Yeah, it is. So so we gotta concentrate on bossing out and getting boards. And you know you gotta concentrate. They, now we know that they won't pick at the ball. Just be. You may think you got the rebound, but you actually gotta go for it because Maxi a couple times knew that the thought the rebound was gonna come to him, and somebody came and snatched it right underneath him, and they dribbled. They had a second, second chance shot. Yeah. So you know what the ball. big thing is? You know what the big thing is for them rebounds? Is everybody ain't gotta jump for the rebound. Box your man out. The Sixers gotta box their man out because sometimes the Knicks. They coming in there, and it's like the secondary guy coming in. There. Don't run for the rebound. Everybody just seal. Just seal your man out and let somebody rebound. Yeah. Did he? Council had a 2010 game? He might have. Buddy Hill had a, had a 30-point game, and Wayne was all over him like a cheap suit. Buddy Hill's the number three scorer. Buddy Hill he this, Buddy Hill that. Buddy Hill, buddy, 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 buddy. Then he, tur- then he turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Wayne don't want nothing to do with you. He puts him far away. I, listen, I'm all about winning, bro. If somebody's balling out, then let them play. And if they not, bench them. I don't see this. Y'all get caught up into this. this you don't want to fight Scobie. I just said, I just said, that you didn't put Paul Reed in. What are you talking about? Now, this now, is the point. You you this is the Toby point. This is the point. I've been saying I'm not opposed to Toby coming off the bench. I said that like 10 pods ago. I've been said that. My point is, see, y'all, you in particular, you and Tim get caught up in the hating. Y'all get, y'all get caught up in the hating on a particular player so much that no matter what, y'all just look at that. I, I'm, I'm looking at what's best for the team. The way to vote, Tobias played today offensively, and 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 he was he was aggressive, but he's not productive. I'm saying put Paul Reed in. We need we need to go with a bigger lineup to get those rebounds. That's what I'm saying. I, I, when 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 um, Buddy Hill is hitting, play him. But he's not hitting. Bench him. Don't put him in there. I don't I don't have no. I don't feel like nobody earned. Nobody got to play except for beat Maxi. When's game the only two? two the only two dudes I feel like got to play. When's, when's, game, when's game two? Timothy. Yeah, Monday. 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 Okay. All right. I do. I think somebody said it earlier. I think it was X Men or somebody. They said they'll think they think we're going with the next three games, lose in New York, and then come back home and close out in game six. I can see that it happening. Depends, it depends on what B we get. I that's I agree. It's all contingent on the big man. This whole thing, this whole ship is riding on the back of two players in particular. Maxi and Joel, and if we, we we seen Maxi show up, Joel showed up, got hurt. Both of them showed up. We barely barely lost the game. New York got. Role players got to hit open shots, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, I agree with that as well. We need the X factor. I agree with that as well. But Kyle X-Factor. Lowry, I mean, we did get some because Kyle Lowry. We had X factor from Lowry. Kyle Lowry stepped up huge. Uber played great defense. Mm-hmm. Like I said, to me, this game was mainly lost when Joel and B got hurt, and it allowed them to even tack the offensive glass even more. And they got some favorable bounces. Sometimes we shoot a lot of threes. That's that's and that's the thing. As a that this is why you gotta give props to to guards, even like Hart, who grabbed out on rebounds. When you shoot a lot of threes, you have to already be aware that the ball is gonna come out long. long so right. now you gotta be running around waiting for it. That's why which one called you seal, or you, you have to seal when guys shoot. True. Everybody has to seal that's out. True. No leaking out. Even, no even if you're away out, from the basket, yeah. everybody has to yeah. see. Him. Even if you're away from the basket, that that's very yes. important. I mean, you know, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But that's some things they gotta fix. When that ball go up in there, everybody gotta be ready to rebound, like you said, or yes. sell. And um, and hopefully Joel Embiid is. Hopefully the knee was just a tweak, like like the boy said early in the comment section. Hopefully it was just you know a, a little nerve thing where you felt a little shock and you thought it was worse than what it was. Hopefully that's all it is, but we'll see. We're gonna see tomorrow out. that you know the day after when the adrenaline flow out and everything else, if it's swelling or anything else, we'll see. Yo, but I, I do man, agree. Somebody mentioned earlier. I ain't like how B I was twitching when he. I was very bored. It looked like he was stroking out. That yeah, that right now I was like. <laughs> he did. He did. Yeah, well, I, I was like, yo, I was open. Yeah, he did. That was funny. Buddy first playoff too. Yeah, Maxi got to get to the line too. Is this buddy? Exactly. First but, that, but he from I think it is. Uh, yeah, right. But but he but he from that's my point about the refs. I You're know. not telling me Tyrese Maxi is an all star. He's pushing the issue. He's going at the rock. He's going at the rack and everything else. You're not giving him those calls, but you're giving Jalen Brunson these calls. I, I, that's what I'm saying. To me, the refs dictated more than anything else. This game. No, I agree. I mean, they even gave a couple other boys some suspect calls outside of uh, Brunson. I expect Brunson to get some calls because he's Brunson. But Maxie got to get that same respect. But Max, that's what I'm saying. Maxie, he's not going to call him for Maxie. I don't like you, y'all know me. I'm not even a big on calling the whistles every time somebody go to the to cup. If you're not going to call for Max, you don't call for nobody. That, that's my I opinion. agree. So let's see. Got uh, game two coming up. I it's think we game one. Two. Knicks was at home, bro. I'm, I, I'm not mad. I, I'm just mad at how it went down because that's what I'm saying. Like, even if we'd have lost, even with B get hurt, the, the refs irritated the mess out of me. The first, the first half, the reps, they 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 irritated me. It, I felt like everything was in there to try to hype New York up that thing. And that that being said, I think we win the series if Embiid's not injured. If he's hurt, that's fine. If he's injured, mm, we can't do it. I agree. All right. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna finish watching this rest of this uh, Denver Lakers game. Hopefully, Bron could uh go back in the go back in the uh, in the crates and get a mm-hmm. win. I'm rooting for him. Let's go. Steph Curry out. So I'm rooting for the Sixers and LeBron. 
We're yep. in on keep that. But when you got the power to stop it, Tim is still on stop it. All we gotta do is leave studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It actually still stay on, I think, if we all just leave. Somebody actually got to end the show. Oh. Wherever Tim is at. But I'm about to go get me something to eat and relax. So, Wayne, you can keep talking. You and Ethan can keep jibber jabbing on your one. I'm about to yeah, I'm about to rule out myself. But. All right. All right. That being said, listen, bro, we ain't going to panic. You know what I'm saying? It's the first game. New York was at. I, I mean, honestly, if we put it, if, if we keep it a being, New York is supposed to win. They're at home. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, the, 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 whole, the whole thing is we want to try to win one on the road and then bring it and get home court advantage. So, you ain't want I just was irritated. This is their first time in the playoffs in a while, and everybody there. And Wasn't they there yet? They weren't in the playoffs last year? I don't know. I'm just I think they was in there last year. I think they was in there last year, wasn't it? <laughs> they might have been. You know what? They might have been. I don't they remember. Was Everybody hype. They got the home field advantage this year. What 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 they finish? Can I live? I know. I know what it is. Oh, they finish little... second. Hey, listen, we're the seventh seed playing against the number two seed. That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying about the the thing about these daggone uh the daggone calls killed me. Did they say the Knicks ain't played the Sixers since '89, or they ain't playing the first round since '89? Which one they was? They played the playoffs since '89. Playoffs. Wow. Yeah, that's a long time. So they said they said one of them refs out uh, what they say one of them refs the guy that was the ref they dad was the one the last time the Sixers played the Knicks in the playoffs they dad was the ref first of all I don't like the whole idea that dudes that was refs in the NBA now their sons is refs in the NBA like they passing down yeah they passing down yeah I, I don't like that whole that sound like some real love uh, it they sounds sus nepotism especially, real nepotism going on up in there especially especially back in that era the, the early 2000s refs like Ain't that when Donna B and all that was out there? Do you be like, yeah, you gonna be a ref when you grow up? Do you do like, you start yeah, my son? My son got the my son got the ref team in him. Bro. Yeah, bro. like what? <laughs> is a, a ref is a great. I would love to be. It a is a great job. It is a great job. Great job, bro. Them boys get paid. Uh, pay, get paid a bag. Then they travel on the league. You travel all over the place. You get a nice bag, and you at the sideline of a, one of the best sporting events in the world. Basketball and or football rest, either one. That's it got and and to see how they reference it can't be that hard. I've ref in the Merrill basketball when I was in college and and even such and such stuff. It can't be that hard to ref. These dudes be eh, I don't even think half them refs know the rules, bro. Like like I I, I think half of them Jones Bulls don't even know the rules. They said the, the average one-on-one. ref makes between 150 and 500 thousand a year. That's crazy. That's not bad. That's yeah, I gotta put my res- I gotta put my resume in. Yeah, I got <laughs> I gotta work my way about the uh, out the ranks. I gotta start doing high I got, school. I gotta, listen, I gotta listen. I gotta get back to doing some curls and stuff so I can have like the ball. Remember the ball at hockey league and football. Yeah, like, and- <laughs> I got remember Targe, I got all the call. Ooh, I, I get all the animatics. Didn't Tim go to referee Walk school? It. Yeah, Tim with the yeah, Tim was a referee. I think he got swung on at one of his games, like a low league game. Tim was referee yeah. in girls soccer. Yeah. The, that chick swung the girl, on him. The girl swung on him. <laughs> <laughs> when the girl swung on Tim, Tim was like, oh, that's it for me. And then the career. Game and God even everything. Yeah, Tim was out of court. He ain't want no smoke. You see the video of referee getting chased around the court. was like, all right, let me wrap this thing up. It was now. a soccer mom. A soccer mom gripped him up by his collar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no rough, you got it rough though. And them and them and them league games. Oh man. I don't, don't want to hear about they got it rough. They just call the calls right. I ain't no, gonna no, hold no, you. No, 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 Ethan Wright. It don't matter if you call them boys be in there passing fight by fight. I'm if I'm a ref, for a ref, if I'm reffing it in, in any game, I don't care inner city and in suburbs, they all try to fight you. I'm coming with security. If I'm a ref, at least two or three security guards. <laughs> listen, come on, all that pop, 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 listen. Good. I ain't gonna hold you. I was at when I was in college. I was doing like on this little side job doing they had me in the river in uh reference in the Merle games, and there was these two frats playing. When I was when I was reffing that game, bro, the hateness of that joint, I ain't gonna hold you. It was like one time this one boy, and it was a blatant charge, and they was like waiting for it, and I was like, charge, they like oh, I, I felt like I was part, and so I, I get it with these refs. That's why I say I, I get it when they get caught up in the home court. Like yeah. when, like when yeah. when you hear the crowd cheering and stuff oh, like that, there's yeah. something mental into yeah. it. You hear that because I'm telling you, so when you I made that call, 18. 
No, but when I made that call, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I felt I felt like I made the right call. But when I made the call, and I'm like, charge. And then it was like two seconds later, it was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that felt yeah. good. Yeah. Like, that felt like you was playing. So the refs yeah. definitely get caught up in that, Joel. You got to be a little bit of a nut to be a referee, though. Like, like you got to be a little bit of a corny you girl. Me a nut? What we no, 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 no. I'm saying to be, to be a professional ref, you got to be a little – you got to have almost like that cop mentality a little bit. So because true. you got to be able to make the unfavorable call at that time and not care and stand on that. Like, I don't care if it was the right call. You know what I mean? Like, and everybody booing you and yelling at you, coaches streaming in your face. How could you miss that? You're an idiot. And you got to be able to stand on the call that you made despite 10,000, 20, 50,000 people yelling at you that you did wrong. And despite a bull like Uber, it comes from you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. and you. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Has Ubre got any calls since he did that? That because I lost it too many ref in that game. What'd you say? He ain't get no call. You right. I'm telling you, referees be exacting out judgment. They they exact oh, they they punishment on cats. Oh, I'm absolutely. I'm telling I honestly think that's why Curry don't get a lot of calls because Curry do a lot of slick stuff on the side with refs. I remember one time the ref, this was just I think the year they won the championship. When the ref teched him up, and then he hit like a four point play, or at the end of the game, I think they won the game, and he went like this to the ref, like I'm teching you, type John. Trust me, that boy, that boy, boy said, oh, oh, they yeah. remember that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, it's like that. All right, okay. And, right and Pooh Mons is right. It's a narcissist dream, I, I, and I'm telling you, the yeah, only, reason why, and, and, yes. only reason why I wasn't caught up in it because I actually played the sport, and I was actually even playing in other. This was like the B League in the Merle. I was playing in the A League in the Merle and everything else. So. I, but so I get that, but but I'm looking at like if you a dude that don't got no athletic ability, ain't really played no sports like that, this that and other, that's their that's their thing. Like they like they get to hearing the, the crowd cheering and everything else, they get caught up in that. That's why you see them boys like or do the emphatic call. They be like, Tim was like that. Tim, remember yeah, how they do? Was, how they do? Even, to, they be like. When you went yeah, to <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you were in referee school, when you was repping the girls' volleyball game and they choked you really, out, really, really, girls' <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> yeah. so, so, uh, I, 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 I would rep a girls' volleyball game. Like, <laughs> they took, they took. They took him out way. Hey, wait, they took him out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Brittany Griner type chick. She was like, I said it was him. <laughs> no, no. Uh, All right, somebody close the game. We're closing out. Back at it Monday. Oh, I'm hot. Six yeah. is up. Six is going to be up. I mean, the series going to be tired of one when we come back on here. Tell you, mark my words. Book yeah, it. Like, like, comment, yeah. subscribe. Um, yeah, shout that. out to Bernard and Impu Mines. Get them thumbs um, up, pop. Yeah, so I'm going to get the notification bell, and we'll catch y'all on our next podcast. We're coming to turn the lights out. <laughs> yeah, New York Knicks fans, come join us next. We'll be here. We'll come back Monday. Best come back 